Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another new album review as we do on a Friday. And today it's always special when you review an album from a band from your own town. And the band are called Empire. Uh, formed in 2016 here in Northampton. Uh, founded by vocalist Hendrik Steenholt and lead guitars David Coles. The band Empire was picked for its grandoise nature, reflecting the ambition of the band. Um, the bit, they have been building me me momentum since it started, and they brought out their um, debut album, Self Aware, in 2019, and they played at the Planet Rock uh, Festival um, Bob Harris radio presenter Northampton boy himself um, and they've been, their sound has been likened to Queensryche, Alterbridge Pink Floyd, Audio Slave and Soundgarden so if, if you like any of them bands you're going to like these they have this perform intense atmospheric rock with a dark and in r retrospective edge to their writing um, the band are Hendrik Steenholt. Hope I've pronounced your name right, Hendrik. Um, David Coles on the lead guitar, Grant Hockley bass, and Elliot Bale on the drums. Now the new album is called Relentless. Got the cover, nice bold cover. So the first track is called Relentless, and this starts off with a nice gentle guitar. And then you get these, this, boom, this riff comes in from David. Oh, reminds me of how Alterbridge start their songs. I think that's why I love this band, you know, because they're very Alterbridge for me. I love this track. Uh, the riffs are great. It's a great vocal from Hendrick. Really strong start on this album. Then we get Waking Light. Now, as this band love atmospheric atmospheric rock this is very atmospheric uh, the guitar riffs are really good and you've got Hendrix it's quite a daunting vocal it's very strong I love this and it's one of my favorite tracks on this album already I love this track and um, then we get parasites again reminds me so much and the influence of like this that Alterbridge have on this band it's that lovely gentle start the big strong riffs come in a great piece of drumming here from Elliot Bale it's a terrific song Cry Wolf one of my favourite tracks on this album already I love the middle piece of it where the, all of a sudden that riff stops and then starts again absolutely clever how they did that you you didn't expect that it's just a really strong song again this next track is called hit and run what i like about this one we've got a, a little bit of a different tempo a keyboard sound that really gives it the extra layer and it's a great vocal from hendrick absolutely top draw stuff um forget me again we have that acoustic guitar start Followed up with some great crunching riffs again. Again, so much Alter Bridge in this, and that's why I like this track. I I think it's terrific. There's a little twist, and I think this is sort of the UK version of Alter Bridge in my books. Um, they're as good as them. Silent Screaming, one of my favourite tracks again. Just love those dro driving riffs. The drumming from Elliot is so powerful. And then you get some gentleness in it as well before going into the heavy stuff again. Really nice song. Then we get my favourite track on here um, called Road to Nowhere. It's got a great guitar solo on here. It is a great from David Coles, a great solo. All the solos on here are pretty impressive from David, but this one is out the top drawer and then Kathy driving riffs from Hendrick all the way through brilliant track 
quiet commotion. Now this is quite melodic. It's got a great bass line in this um, from Grant. I mean, Grant's a pretty solid bass playing all through this album, but he really shines on that track, which drives that that bass line drives the song along. Then we get uh, the last track. He's called "Your High Whole Life Slows." It's got some keyboard on it, and they use the keyboard really well because it gives it this track more atmosphere to their melodic riffs and the solid drumming. It's got a bit of a keyboard solo on it as well, which really lifts the song. Great way to end this album. Okay, I've been listening to this since it came out. And I'm not just saying this because it's a Northampton band. Of course I'm going to praise them because they are a, a band from my um, hometown. But this is a great album. It's their best album. It's certainly the best album so far. The best thing I've heard them put out. Um, I think this can compete with any of the great rock albums coming out this year. It's powerful it's got some melodic stuff on it. And as I said, they remind me of our version of Older Bridge. And I can see this album actually featuring highly at my end of year review without a doubt. And I hope hope that you guys like my little um, bit on this wonderful album. I've also put in, the, there's a link to the other stuff that put out as well, which I'll talk about. Um, so I'm going to give this album an RTO ranking out 8 out of 5 8.5 8 out of 5 what am I saying talking nonsense Ian yeah 8.5 for this because it is an absolute belt go and check it out go to their website go and check out their music and give this band especially if you're from Northampton or the Northampton area Go and support this band. Um, there's details on their website on where they're playing, etc. So, well done, chaps. A great album. Okay, um, next up is a nearly new album. <laughs> the one where we sometimes we miss them out when they come out. And that is Jean-Michel Jarre's Oxymore. So we're going from great rock music to a keyboard wizard. See you all soon. Bye for now.